Fast snacks, fast food, fast reviews. Snack Masters Inc., a podcast served to you in 30 minutes or less. Snack Masters Incorporated. Snack Masters. Snack Masters. You'll be snacking with the Snack Masters. Snack Masters. Hello and thank you for checking into Snack Masters. I am your host, Dooner. Here with my doppelganger in Idaho, MSG. What you up to, Marty? Snacking away, man. Are you? You're snacking already? Well, yeah, that's the point. <laughs> All right, buddy, I got to crack open my uh, Diet Coke. Ah, there we go. Oh, I love when the steam comes off, too. And let me mention something here. Are you a soda guy? The only soda I really drink is Diet Coke, and it's because my mom used to buy it when I was a kid. And uh, I have a very refined taste in Diet Coke. Like, for example, Diet Coke in a can, to me, tastes way better than out of a bottle or a plastic bottle. The only place that even comes close is McDonald's. They seem to have a special tweak on their formulation where they can pour a good Diet Coke. But to me, I mean, I'm a water guy, but when I'm going to have a soda, it's going to be a Diet Coke. I'm doing this to cleanse my palate a little bit. What, what do you gravitate to? I get uh, either ginger beer or a, a high-end root beer. I go with the micro-brew root beers. You're a root beer guy. Yeah. Man. You know, I can't drink the sugar soda. I was raised on this uh, aspartame. And um, <laughs> and the sugar soda, I don't, I don't know. It just makes my, my throat feel all fajelamy. And uh, it's, uh, it's a horror show. Speaking of, it was just Halloween. And on Halloween, I had a few hours free in the day. And I have this theater in my town called Patriot Cinemas. And they have Super Tuesdays where it's five bucks to see a movie. So even if you kind of just want to see something, it's worth going, right? Five bucks, kill a little time. That day, I didn't have much to do, so I went in there, and I saw Jigsaw. I was the only person in the theater, so Marty, private screening for five bucks. You know, how? where can you do that? Usually you need a group on, or usually you need to know someone in Hollywood, or you need to know a big wig, or you need to be rich and have your own theater, or know Michael Jackson, or something like that. No, I got to see Jigsaw alone. But it was a blessing and a curse, because Jigsaw just wasn't that good. I mean... Yeah, you know, it's a Saw movie, it's contrived, it's convoluted, they retcon a bunch of stuff that goes on in the film, but it was watchable. It was watchable and enjoyable, but when you walk out, it's like, eh, eh, I could have done without that, you know, maybe that hour and 40 minutes would be better served, but I am a horror fan. Do you like horror movies at all? You know, I, I really don't. You know, I watch some obscure movies, some some kind of underground stuff. Like Cannibal Holocaust? <laughs> no, no. I don't I don't go for horror movies. I just what, like snuff films? What do you mean like <laughs> underground horror stuff? I'm just asking you like mainstream horror, dude, not if you watch Faces of Death. No, no. I mean and I am trying to differentiate that from let's say my my go to, my, my my taste in movies. Uh typically doesn't include horror. Like I said, I've watched movies that, you know, maybe other people haven't heard of, but I I don't go for horror in general. That being said, for whatever reason, zombies don't scare me. I, I, I don't get scared of them. The last movie that I watched that would be considered, I guess, a horror movie was uh, 28 Weeks Later. I bought the two-disc set of 28 Days Later and 28 Days Later. 28 Weeks Later, right? Yeah. Yeah. So there's 28 Days Later, and then the sequel, 28 Weeks Later. Yeah, but you said 28 Days Later twice. Oh. You must like 28 days later. I like it better. I do. Sorry. Yeah. It is better, right? It's a, the opening of 28 weeks later is, is good. The opening of 28 days yeah. later is amazing too. The opening of 28 weeks later is good as well, but I'm with you. I kind of, uh, I lost interest during it. I found myself like drifting off and looking at my phone and I still don't, I don't know what happens in the end. Oh, well, it's, you know, standard stuff. What you'd kind of expect, I guess, but I'm not going to spoil it for anybody. It's still a good show. I enjoy watching it. I've seen it several times, but... No, that as far as horror movie goes, I'd say that, you know, if that's considered horror, that's probably the last horror movie I watched. Okay, how about this question? Then? What's the last movie that you chose to go see in the theater? You weren't, like, dragged along by the wife or by your kid. You didn't have to go see the Emoji movie with, uh, what's your kid's name, Benjamin? Uh, Brandon. Brandon. So you didn't have to go see, like, emo did he go see Emoji? I don't know what, what Brandon's into yet. I don't know him well enough, but... No. What was the last movie you picked? You picked and you went to the theater of your own volition. So I don't, I'm not a theater kind of guy. I don't like distractions. I don't like people, you know, 
bugging me. I've been spoiled by the idea that I can pause a show and, and walk away. The last one I went to the theater with, I chose, but it was Guardians of the Galaxy 2. Oh, that's recent. Yeah. So, I, I yeah, I took my son to that. It was kind of funny the way it turned out. We actually saw the ending of it first and then went back and watched the movie it was just a snafu, kind of a miscommunication at the theater. But no, I, I saw that. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Uh, I'm glad I saw it in the theater. Some some movies deserve it. Wait, hold on. What happened? There was a snafu, like in Gremlins 2 and Hulk Hogan gets up because the Gremlins are destroying the film? What? <laughs> no. What happened? The tape stopped? No, we, we went into the, the wrong theater. It was There's a green theater and a white theater at this particular place. I asked the kid, hey, you know, because I, I could hear the movie going on as I went towards the door and I, I saw a worker there and I said, is the movie started yet? And he said, oh yeah, but it just started. Go ahead and go in. So we went in, found a seat, sat down, and immediately I, I realized, wow, this there's been a lot of character progression already in this movie if it just started. I don't know who these people are on the screen. I don't know how they're interacting. You know, and, and five minutes later, here come the credits. So I got up, found the kid, and said, hey, did you tell me that this had just started? And, and he said, oh no, that wasn't me. Uh, very clearly it was him, have that good of a memory. So we went out, sat in the lobby, waited until the movie restarted. Well, the kid ran up to me probably about 20 minutes later and said, Oh, hey, you were in the wrong theater. You need to go into the white theater. Again, we went, found a seat. We'd missed the first probably 10, 15 minutes of the movie. You know, the end result, after the movie's over, I, I asked my son what he thought of it, because I enjoyed it. And he said, well, you know, it was kind of a spoiler because we saw the end of it first. Hmm. Not a great experience. He'll be devastated when he watches Pulp Fiction. <laughs> Hopefully not for a while. I got a question for you. Are you okay? So, are you a theater snacker though? Did you get? Do, do you, are you a popcorn guy? Are you a candy guy? Are you a smuggler? Do you buy it at the theater? Yeah. So this is this is a discount theater. I usually hit. So their snacks are actually pretty reasonable. Between the two of us, we spend twenty dollars on the entire experience, and they have a, a combo set up where you know you get two pops and a medium popcorn. Dollar refills on any of them, and usually by him, he goes for the what is it? Cookie bites. That's what he gets. Cookie dough flavored cookie bites. But yeah. I I, I snack. I don't smuggle. I figure that's where they make their money. It's $3 for a movie ticket. So, yeah, I, I get what they offer. You mentioned that you prefer to watch movies at home. You prefer DVDs and being able to pause them and anything. So, are you a home snacker then? What are you usually what are you usually chewing on in front of the TV? Gosh. I watched a movie last night by myself, actually. It was The Dark Tower. Was that good? That that got very bad reviews. You know, it's, it's different for me because I've read all the books. Um, it, it didn't really follow the storyline of, of any of the books. It was hard to probably compress that big of a story into an hour and a half, but, you know, it, it was okay. It's tough for me to read a book and then watch a movie because I'm always comparing the two, trying to catch up with the story of, did that really happen in the book? Things like that. So it was okay. I'd be interested to talk to somebody who had never read the books, but I, I thought it was okay. Not great, but, you know, I, I made it through. I did bring in, I remember now, I made some pumpkin bread yesterday, and I brought that in on a plate while I sat and watched the movie. All right, that's the lamest thing I've ever heard in my life. That might be your reveal for the episode. That could be your, <laughs> you know, you had your fake tree, you had your not putting out candy, you had your uh, putting back broken cookies, and now you have eaten pumpkin, what was it, banana bread, pumpkin bread? Pumpkin bread, what the, what's wrong with pumpkin bread? Eating pumpkin bread while you watch, who eats pumpkin bread when they, you know what people eat, you know what men eat when they watch movies? They eat Cheetos, and that's what I'm going to review today, Marty. <laughs> I got these cheddar jalapeno crunchy Cheetos, but I didn't just get them because as I, I, I've started doing, I try to get for our healthy snacks something that is very similar. And with Cheetos, it happens to be that that's pretty easy because there's also baked Cheetos, not baked cheddar jalapeno crunchy Cheetos. But I already know what a regular Cheeto tastes like, so I didn't I didn't need to do that. I think I can compare that to the baked ones without having it. Have you had these cheddar jalapeno crunchy Cheetos yet? Are, are you a like a cheese doodle guy or are you a, a cheese uh, Cheeto guy? I like the puff Cheetos. Uh, I, I have not had the jalapeno. I, I might have to, depending on your review. All right, man, I'll dig it. You know, one thing I noticed between, like, these Cheetos and the baked ones is when we splay out these snacks for uh, for the Instagram photography, I always put out the serving size. And you get significantly more of the baked ones than you do of these, uh, these regular old-fashioned Cheetos. Let's see if it's worth it, though. I'm going to try one of these guys right now. Hmm. I mean, it smells like a Cheeto scent-wise. There's no, like, there's no heat... I got my head in the bag right now. It's not. I don't feel like I'm getting uh, pepper sprayed or anything. But uh, let's see what happens to my tongue. Now, while you crunch, are they the signature Cheeto color? Did they add any green to differentiate? Are they? Oh yeah. There's a um. There's like an off. There's uh, the, the color's off. You know, a Cheeto. 
These are the baked ones, I'm, I'm, so they might be a little bit different, but it, it, they're a pretty bright orange, wouldn't you agree, from your knowledge of Cheetos? Oh, yeah, yeah. These are a more muted, darker, uh, I would say like a burnt orange, like a Tennessee volunteer orange kind of color with some things. I'm, I like the spicy hot ones a lot, and, you know, I definitely taste the jalapeno. It tastes like the jalapeno they put on chips on a Cheeto. I think they nailed the flavor, if that's what they're going for. But I can't help but want a spicy hot Cheeto when I'm eating this. I'm like, I, I should have just got the spicy hot ones. These are new, though. I wanted to try them. Uh, let's see. Does it say anything? What's a serving? For Cheetos, Cheddar, Jalapeno, Crunchy Snacks, 21 is the right amount of fun for jalapeno hopping fun. I don't know who wrote that copy. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's a, you know... Mm. Nah, meh, I, I don't... I don't really like, I don't know why I bought these, because it's not really fair. I don't like jalapeno that much. I do like, I like more of a buffalo, like a buffalo wing kind of thing, that more of a vinegar tang to it that really brings out the heat. And the spicy hot Cheetos are kind of more reminiscent of that. And um, yeah, man, this is like, you know, you, you, you're with the girl you loved, you know, the girl you were with in high school or in college, and that's my spicy hot Cheeto. And now I met this, <laughs> you know, she's all right. You know, I met her on Tinder. We're on a second date, but, you know, I don't know if there'll be a third. So, eh. I would say leave these on the shelf unless you really, really like cheddar jalapeno. And the reason is, there's just there's just better Cheetos in the game. You could go with a regular one, or you could go with a spicy hot. For my dollar, that dollar goes further. I'm getting my full 99 cents. What do you got over there, my friend? Or do you want me to jump into the baked ones first? The baked ones, that's that's perfect. Go ahead. All right, I'll jump in the baked ones. And then, uh, let's see here. These are, uh, let's look on the back here. It says, they have a new look, too. So, and it's funny, because I saw these on the shelf there, and one of them said in huge letters, baked 50% less fat. And the other one just said baked, but not 50% less fat. And I was curious if there was, like, different levels of baking, like, these are a little bit more bad, and then these ones are, like, like super Cheeto lights. No, it just turns out that they changed the packaging, and they're really uh, accenting the 50% less fat. The difference is there's 160 calories in the other ones and uh, the serving size. You know, like I said, you only get 21 pieces at 160 calories and 10 grams of fat. On this one, you get 34 pieces, 140 calories. Let me try one real quick. Let me see the crunch factors there. Might not have the same density. So that, that could be why you're getting extra ones. Yeah, you know, these definitely not have the same crunch. I mean, it, it sort of tastes like a, uh, like a stale packaging popcorn, you know? There's like, you can compress down on it like a... Uh, like a cheap mattress or something? Like the other ones, when you crunch them, it breaks apart. These, um, these give a little bit. There's a little shock absorption on the inside of this baked Cheeto. The, uh, the flavoring on the outside is the same as the Cheetos you know and love. If you're trying to cut, I mean, 20 calories isn't, isn't that big. I think that, like, these baked things, it's fine, but, f and the, the, the reason they accentuate 50% less fat is, because, uh, I don't know, people are obsessed with fat. I mean, calories in, calories out is a school of thought that I come from. So I'm just comparing 160 to 140. Is the 20 calorie difference worth it to me between this bag and a regular Cheeto? Uh, you know, if it makes someone feel better, makes them feel like they're on a diet, that's fine. These are totally passable. Like they're not, they're not awful at all. I don't know, as far as baked, like baked goods go, I've had like baked Lay's and things like that. And they, they vary in quality. Uh, let's see, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give the jalapeno ones. Jeez, I I'm only going to give them a four. And that's only because I wouldn't buy them again. And five is kind of my threshold of, of buy again or even eat again and i would i would avoid that i would seek out other cheetos and the baked ones they're better i would give these like a six or a seven if i was desperate and these were in my cupboard they would find their way to the couch when i'm watching uh 28 days later so no pumpkin bread I'm going with the baked cheetos fair enough yeah i would definitely not be going with pumpkin bread i don't watch movies eating pumpkin bread there's something wrong in my head with that it just seems so it seems very strange it seems like something maybe a like a serial killer would do. There's just something very <laughs> odd about it. But maybe that's a thing people do in Idaho. And one of the things <laughs> I love about doing this show is I get to learn about the culture of your people, as you do about uh, us massholes over here in the Northeast. But um, I don't know more. Have you had these baked Cheetos before? Or any of these sort of baked... Uh, who makes these? Are these Lay's? Frito-Lay. I think I've had baked Cheetos before. They're white cheddar or something along those lines, but uh, it's been a long time. They're not a they're not a regular in the MSG household. But I also did some sort of a uh, inadvertent, say if you will, a comparison, a side by side with my snack this week. So we talked about Halloween candy, this and that. Uh, my son came home kind of empty-handed based on his evening, except he did bring me an Oreo candy bar. It's it's a new a new thing. Oreos really branching out here. And decided to test their test the waters of the the candy bar market. 
And these tout the fact that they are made with alpine milk. So I'm going to give the shot real quick here. You know, you mentioned Oreo and how they're really branching out. And it's funny, if you go on their Instagram page, it's like a mosaic of pictures that make up the Oreo flavor lab. It's just like, I don't know, how many pictures go across on Instagram? Four. So it's like 20 panels. And it just shows their their lab. It looks like a mad scientist lab. I think it's like a, a mock-up. I doubt the real one looks like that because this certainly doesn't look clinical enough. But uh, they're going crazy in there. They're mixing every everything they can. And they don't hesitate to just put it out on the market. And when they don't know what it is, they just put it out as a mystery flavor and ask you to guess. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know what's gotten into them lately, but they are going nuts. So the Oreo cookie uh, candy bar is actually really delicious. It's it's again really sweet. It's small. There's only four kind of small squares that are that are put together. Maybe five. And I broke it in part just for the display picture, but it's actually pretty good. It's a chocolate outer shell or kind of covering, and inside is uh, it's kind of a mashup of crunched up Oreos and the filling. It looks like so they probably repurposed some of the broken Oreos, something like that, covered it in chocolate. They're good stewards of their uh, the environment as far as reusing but uh, it's actually pretty good I, i'd definitely buy it again i'd put it on a you know seven seven or eight i'm not going to run to it it's not going to replace like a peanut butter cup for me yeah pretty good not not too bad would buy again so i'm going to launch straight into the uh, apple pie flavored oreo cookie with the uh, graham flavored cookie and the apple pie filling and, and again this is the first time i've tried it um oh okay Having eaten the uh, the apple pie flavored Oreo, uh, you, you know it, it says it's got a graham flavored flavored cookie. When you bite into it, I don't get the graham flavor. It, it's kind of just there for the crunch. And what you do get immediately is a very very strong kind of cinnamon sweet appley, um, almost along the lines of uh, the apple jacks kind of flavored. It's not not super appley, but you get more of the cinnamon and sweet. So. It's okay. I didn't I didn't peel it apart and eat the filling separately and stuff like I would with a normal Oreo. I wanted to get the full experience of what they were shooting for. It's it's okay. I think my wife and my kid had gotten in the package and they they enjoyed it. I'm not sure that if if they're going for, you know, testing a bunch of ones and seeing which ones stick as far as these different varieties of of Oreos they're trying. I'm not sure that this is going to be the one that takes you know, not having had all of them, but I'm assuming they've they've come up with better. This one's this one's okay. I'd say compared with other Oreos, double stuff being the the standard for me, I'd put this at about a five. I'm not gonna run out and look for these. I'm not gonna you know snatch them off the shelf every time I go by. But it's it's okay, not too bad. How do they stack up against the mysteries? Hmm. Good question. I found the mysteries. I found the mysteries almost inedible. We gave them away. Like my, I had my wife take them to her office. I never wanted another one. I, I despise them. I, to me, they're way too sweet. They were disgusting. And when a snack like that, when like Oreo really goes off the rails, it just makes me wish and like resentful that I didn't just buy regular Oreos. And I'm like, why did I do this? I made a very bad decision. I can see that. These these are definitely better than the mystery Oreos. I didn't. I didn't you know, have the animosity towards the mystery Oreos. In fact, my son came down and asked me where they were this morning. So they were okay. These are, these I'd say are a little bit better just because the mystery Oreo is such a distinctive flavor. And it leads me to questions like, what are they shooting for here? What is this supposed to be? At least the apple pie one's identifiable, uh, a little more mainstream flavor. It goes along with the fall season. I'd put these above there. Can I ask you to do me a favor? I'm a big advocate, especially since the idea popped in my head of last last episode of a chicken in a biscuit Oreo. Can you take two chicken in a biscuit and then take the apple filling in that and put it between them, bite into it, and tell me what it tastes like? Wow. Um, yeah. Give me give me ten seconds to prepare here, and I'll. Why not? All right, and you know I'll do the same the next time we do an Oreo, and I think the ones that I have in, in the pantry that I picked are coffee. So that that'll be um, a very interesting combination: chicken and a biscuit and coffee. Oh. It's uh, I don't know, maybe like chicken and waffles. You know, it could be like a breakfast cracker. Okay, I'm all set. Uh, here we go. All right. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. What I'm getting again on the on the on the front end of things, you really taste the chicken. Uh, the, the old familiarity of the chicken and biscuit is there. It doesn't come until the end where you get kind of just the sweetness. It's almost like the saltiness and chicken flavor cancels out the apple flavor and all that, but you still do get the sweetness. I took a half of that, and I'm actually, I'm going to eat the rest of it. That's, that's, I'm, I'm glad you thought of that. It's not bad. Yeah, I hope they make the chicken and biscuit flavor. I'm, I'm all over it. You think the gram goes well, or do you think chocolate would be better? Like if they were to make the cream chicken and biscuit flavor. So like kind of a reverse of what you're doing right now. Keep the cracker. Or you're saying stay cracker, stay cracker, stay cracker is a chicken and a biscuit and just go like find the right cream combination to put in the middle. 
Maybe like a gravy flavored cream. Yeah, don't don't lose the cracker. That's the, the cracker's the best part. Yeah, I yeah, go with the gravy. I I'd, I'd tone down the sweetness of the filling for sure. I wouldn't do that, but yeah, I'd, I'd eat that. Yeah. All right, Marty. I I got these go organically fruit snacks. They're a uh, fruit medley. These are the healthy one version of the Transformers. Although the Transformers, they had no high fructose corn syrup. They weren't uh, they weren't so bad. But these ones are the ones marketed to parents, right? In huge letters, GMO free, USDA organic, go organically fruit snacks. All this marketing is to mom to pick it up off the shelf. Uh, it has the same exact amount of sugar as the Transformers. It does have 20 less calories, so it's got that going for it. Uh, let me taste them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know... Yeah, I mean, they're passable. They're, they're, they're definitely good. The Transformers, they taste so much like the fruit snack that I'm just familiar with, and in my head is like, oh, that's fruit snack. So they're like the, the Transformers, the baseline. This is, um, the consistency is a little bit more gummy. The flavor's kind of the same. It throws me off a little bit, but like if you, like in the cupboard, I have a box of these in the box of Transformers. I'm grabbing the Transformers ones. So, yeah, you know, as a fruit snack, I mean, they're not bad. When I say the Transformers were as a fruit snack, an eight, then these are a six. So they're buyable. They, they can be in the cupboard. They can go in the lunchbox. Or if you need a quick uh, sugar fix during the day, I'd eat these. But yeah, just not as good as the Transformers. But if you're looking for the healthy choice, if you're into uh, GMO free and that kind of thing that gets you moving, then uh, you got this option. And I would say that unlike the alternative and last one, the beet thins, this is a real alternative. So go organically fruit snacks. Moms, if that's what you want, I suggest these. You got anything else, Marty? Well, I did, I did choose a healthy snack. <clears throat> this is something that I eat all the time. I bring one of these to work with me every day. All right, lightning round on it. Lightning round. You got one. I'm giving you one minute, then the buzzer's sounding. Sounds good. Premier Protein, variety pack, three different flavors. Uh, again, one I eat every day. This is the peanut butter crunch. Absolutely delicious. I, my kids eat these like candy bars if I don't hide them. I've shared them with people at work. They are uh, 300 calories per, but they do have the 30 grams of protein that gets me through the morning. Highly recommended. I'd say... As a snack, 7 out of 10, but as a protein bar, this is 10 out of 10. Perfect. Perfect, man. I will have to try that one. Uh, I've, I've had Quest Bars in my home for a while. I, I've tried them all. I, I've been sick of them. I've been looking for something else, so I will get them out. Today, we covered Cheetos, Cheddar Jalapeno Crunchy. I said that, what were they, a five, a four? I forget. I just said you're, you're better off going with other options. You got the uh, spicy hot or the fiery or flaming hot Cheetos. I would rather have flaming hot Cheetos if I wanted a hot Cheeto or regular Cheetos. These just make me long for the days when those were in my mouth. I had the baked ones. Are they a good alternative to Cheetos? Yeah, I mean, but the 20 calorie difference, I don't know. I might st I might just as soon, because I'm, I'm of the belief that calories matter more than fat, that uh, I would stick with the uh, with the regular ones, because it's a guilty pleasure, and if you're in a diet, or, you know, or how many snacks are you eating anyway? Although, we're going to cover that on our next episode. Why are the Go Organically? I said perfectly, if you're into the GMO free, go with the Go Organically. Perfectly acceptable snack. You had the apple Oreos, apple pie. Not good, right? You, well, not good enough. There's better Oreos out there. Yeah, no. Better Oreos, for sure. What else you got? Yeah, that yeah, the protein bar. What was the name of it? What was the score? Premier Protein. I gave it a seven. And the Oreo cookie chocolate candy bar. I think I went with a seven or eight on that one. Well, there you have it. We are the Snack Masters. Our website is snackmastersinc.com. You can find all of our food pictures on Instagram at instagram.com slash snackmastersinc. We are on iTunes, Google Play, SoundCloud, Stitcher, everywhere. Podcasts are heard around the world. We'll uh, Chester chi you later. <laughs> good. That's what does good. it taste like? It tastes like chicken. It tastes like chicken? That's a chicken and a biscuit cracker. It tastes like chicken in the basic cracker. Well, that's what it is. It tastes like it. Is it good? Yeah. Are you going to take another bite? I don't want to take another one. What, is that too salty for you or is it good? That's too salty. And you will give me Transformers. <laughs> Incorporated Snack Masters Snack Masters You'll be snacking with us